I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is a thoughtful moment of clarity. At its conclusion, it may seem a little obvious, but please bear with me. When my 94-year-old mom passed away after years of congestive heart failure, I considered that an okay passing. We were as close as a mother and her only child could be. She had lived a, an exciting and a fun life, and her passing was actually okay with both of us. When a soldier dies on the battlefield, I too can consider that an okay death. He's a hero, and he deserves a full military funeral. Every once in a while, my sport of rally loses a driver or a co-driver in competition. The message is usually, he was doing what he loved, and as such, I believe this too can be considered an okay death. But recently, there have been deaths I can't consider okay. Children in St. Louis and Chicago have been killed, usually by gunfire, at an alarming rate this summer. These are not okay deaths. These children have not had a full life, nor volunteered for a dangerous mission, nor were they engaged in a hazardous sport they loved. They were sitting on their front porch or playing in their neighborhood. Fifty-eight people at a concert in Las Vegas killed by a well-armed gunner in a nearby hotel are also not okay deaths. Last weekend, I had the moving honor of visiting the Flight 93-911 Memorial near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It's a quiet and moving place with a lot of symbolism and a lot of data. There were four okay deaths in that incident, the hijackers. It was their job and they volunteered for it. And 40 not okay deaths, the crew and passengers. They were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Everyday people going about their jobs, which took them for some reason from Newark to Los Angeles. And not okay passings don't have to be newsworthy or even multiple. People die in a myriad of statistically insignificant ways. They die in car, die in car wrecks. They drown. They have trees fall on them. They get hit by lightning. It happens. And when it's a surprise, my narrative sees it as not okay. The okay passing, the elderly or infirmed, meets our expectations or can at least be classified as possible. It's the not okay deaths that offends my knower judger's sense of fairness. So, what's the moment of clarity this month? While my beliefs can tease me into thinking I've got this much time to live, heredity, lifestyle, health all contributing, the fact is tomorrow is not guaranteed. Actually, the next moment is not guaranteed. For that reason alone, if for no other, I want everyone I know to have a clear picture of what they mean to me, how much I value them, how much they impact my life. If not clarity now, this moment, then when? No guarantees. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.